Hey YouTube, it's Momo again, and I'm going to be doing this little vlog to show you guys my weapons that I've made in my two years of cosplaying. And there's um another video that I'm going to put in the description below on a, a joint account that I have with my cousin that explains one of my weapons um, more in depth, but I would just like to have um, this uh, archived in my personal YouTube channel. I'll have the link in the description below. And anyway, this was the first weapon that I made. This is the Trick or Treat Keyblade that I made for a costume um, that my grandma helped make me uh, last year uh, a Halloween Town Kyrie cosplay. Where you see I have the um, the original shape of Kyrie's Keyblade modified for Halloween Town, keeping the shape heart shape here and um, the use of flowers and vines. It took forever to carve this. It took me a month a month to carve this and while doing that I was also studying for my AP test so yeah. And um, it was made out of polymer clay, pipe cleaners, S foam. I that's what it said, but it's like um it's light blue. Actually I have it. It's light blue. It's very sturdy, though. Though I though I live in Florida, this doesn't come very thick. Though if you live like further up north, you'll be able to find um, thicker pieces. This is only a half an inch. You'll be able to find um, two inch pieces, which is what I would recommend more. This um, piece itself is only about an inch thick. But like though, with all the paint on it, grew to be like an inch and a half, I think. Is this an inch? I'm not sure. <laughs> and here I have um, the Jack Skellington, because it's Halloween town, and I wanted to tie the two keyblades of Sora and Kyrie together. I have it in black and purple, since those are the colors that I used on the dress. I have a jack-o'-lantern, I have a bat, and when I flip it over, it's the back of the bat and the back of the jack-o'-lantern. It's not completely reversible, which was, uh, I wish I had made it completely reversible, though I'm pretty sure I would have, like, sacrificed some of the stability, which it doesn't really have. You see, it kind of wiggles, so I have to be really careful with it. But so this was a good first weapon that I made. I'm, though, just, just for, just so, so you know, I will not be commissioning these things. They're way too big. If you want, like, a small one, it's like this big, maybe I'll do it, because it'll only take, like, a nail file to do it. But none this big. I do not have the time, and I'm going to be going into college, so I do not have the monetary resources. Okay, that's enough for trick or treat. Or, well, wait, I'm gonna add a little bit more. The uh, flowers were made out of newspaper, and I made them dead flowers, because it's Halloween town. Dead flowers. And um, this part was the only part that I kept, like, true to the keyblade. This is literally what it is. Though I made um, this out of foam, everything's pretty much out of foam except for the vines, which made out of pipe cleaners. Yep. And there is a little kitty, which is the theme of Kyrie that I had for Halloween Town. She's a little black kitty cat. And I fail. And now this is my second weapon that I've made for my Sokka Day of Black Sun costume. And just so you know, I know that I think I made the sword a little too big. 
but still, I like it. It came out well and it's nice and sturdy. This is made out of balsa wood, the blade of it. I know I'm probably getting sore terminology wrong, but come on, forgive me. Um, this, the blade is made out of balsa wood. The, this part here is made out of the same foam that I used for this. And this is a wooden dowel. As you can see, I did get the details. This is the main side. This side is kind of off center, but still I got the details um, of the sword. I believe this is the right color. And I even got the details on the handle. I'm really proud of this thing. Took about, I think this one took about a month too. Though I think if I worked on it like straight, it would probably t have taken me two weeks. And this, this cost about $30 to make. And this one cost about $15 to make. Wait. Actually, this was about $20, $25. So these are my um, weapons. I have sprayed these with a um, gloss spray so that they're nice and shiny. And just so you know, this is wood. This isn't metal. I hope I don't get, like, asked to, um, like put it in my car. Okay, well, those are the weapons that I've made in my two years. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment. I like to know what you guys think of my Keyblades and my weapons. And bye!